Hello, what's up YouTube photographer Ronix Sweet and I try and this tutorial I'm going to be showing you an easy way of how you can get uniform skin tones or how you can easily match skin tones within Photoshop. So the image you're going to be using today was taken by Mutema Creations and I'm going to link his YouTube in the description of this video so that you guys can check him out and also subscribe to his YouTube channel because he always creates content like I do on this channel and you're going to be benefiting from the content that he puts out on his channel so make sure you check the links in the description of this video then also as you're watching don't forget to hit the like button because you're going to be learning so much from this very tutorial and also don't forget to subscribe so after doing all those two we're going to be coming to this image that we have in this case and what i have to show you is the before and after before you can even proceed you can see the before and after for the match skin tones you can see this is the before you can see around the neck area and you can see the after and now we have uniform skin tone for this very model so i'm just going to come and delete this unified layer right here so in order to get uniform skin tones for this very model we're going to be using the gradient maps by gradient map i mean we're going to be mapping or sampling from the colors that we want from in the areas that we want to color grade so for example if at all the model really had makeup that was applied onto their face we want to sample from the makeup area and make sure the rest of the areas on her body have the same and matching colors to her face so before you can proceed simply come and get the eyedropper tool right here and make sure you click on it and make sure the sample size is 5 by 5 ab average the reason for doing this is because as we are sampling points from the skin color or skin tone we want the pointer or the sampler to be as accurate as possible so make sure the sample size is 5 by 5 and the sample is on all layers so after doing that make sure you have only one layer on this layer panel and after you have done all this simply come to adjustments and simply left click and come and simply select your gradient map so select the gradient map right here and it's going to open any random color that is here so make sure these two options are not checked right here but this doesn't matter at this point so after doing this and the gradient is affecting the overall image simply come and simply hide or deactivate the gradient layer so make sure you click on the eye of visibility icon and that is going to deactivate or hide the gradient from affecting the image and after you have done this simply come and click on this gradient icon and as soon as you click on it make sure it is selected make sure the gradient icon is selected and not the white llama so make sure the gradient icon is selected and simply click on this color that you have in the properties so simply left click on it and as soon as you click on it or as soon as you left click on it it is going to open the gradient editor and in the gradient editor that is where we are going to be mapping colors from the midtones the shadows and also the highlights of this very image so like i said usually we use a face as a reference because the very first thing someone looks at when they look at a photo is the face of your model or your client so with this in the gradient editor I'm just going to simply make a stop so you can see that this is the gradient so usually the gradient is going to be moving from the darkest area to the brightest area so mine is a little bit inverted but don't mind about this so make sure the gradient type is solid right here and make sure the smoothness is 100 percent so in order to sample simply you can simply left click on this color stop single click and that is going to select this point and you can as well click on the color area and that is going to open up the color picker tool or alternatively you can simply double click on this stop right here so as soon as you double click it's going to open up the color picker tool or stop color picker icon so with this you can now zoom into the image by using ctrl or command plus on the keyboard and like i said you're going to be using the face as a reference point so zoom into the face and with this done you can hover around and look for an area that you want to sample from so you are going to be sampling from remember 
like I said, the darkest area is going to be the shadow area. So look for the darkest point within the skin tone. Don't look for the black point. Look for the darkest point within the skin tone or skin color. And simply left click on that darkest point. And as soon as you left click, you can see it, uh, it has made this sample or it has sampled this very color. So look for that darkest point and simply click and come and hit OK. Then you're going to look for the brightest point of the skin tone. So simply double click on that stopper tool and simply click on the brightest point of the skin tone and come and click OK. So in order to make a point within the middle area, simply click in the middle of your gradient and that is going to make another point within the middle or the midpoint. And that is going to be for the midtones of the skin color or skin tone. Double click on that stop and simply click on the midpoint of the skin tone. So I'm just going to be using this as my midpoint and simply click OK. So I'm just going to be sampling a slightly different color that is slightly close to the midtones in this case. So I'm just going to sample or make a point right here and double click. So I'm just going to look for a color that is slightly darker than the color that we sampled from here so for this case i'll be choosing a color that is falling around this point so you can see i'm just going to come and hit okay you can see it has made for us this nice and smooth gradient and remember we have sampled colors from only the first area so i'm just going to come and click okay so when you click on okay we are now going to come and simply turn on this layer or gradient layer icon or layer mask so after doing this we are just going to come and zoom out by using ctrl command minus on the keyboard and after doing that we're just going to come the blend mode so usually we have two blend modes that are going to be working best for our photo so the first blend mode is going to be soft light so just come to the blend mode and change it from normal and change it all the way to soft light and if at all you feel like uh, it is working best for you, you can use this. And if at all you feel like it's too much, you can come the opacity and simply drop down the opacity. And you can see the before and after. Then if at all you're feeling like this blend mode is not working best for you or for your image, you can come to the other blend mode that is going to be the color blend mode. And with this, you can see how it is affecting the image. I'll take it all the way to 100%. You can see how it is affecting the image, but this doesn't look it doesn't look right or it doesn't look okay. So basically what we are going to be doing, we're going to be selecting the white layer mask in this case and simply pressing Ctrl or Command I on the keyboard. And that is going to invert the colors or it is going to invert or hide the gradient from affecting the overall image. Remember, in Photoshop, black is going to hide and white is going to review. So just going to come the brushes simply right click and get the brush tool and make sure the hardness is at zero percent the blend mode is no more opacity at hundred percent and the flow with a hundred percent so make sure you have black and white on these two small boxes right here so you can reset by using or left click on these two small boxes and you can switch between black and red by using x on the keyboard so with white as the foreground color meaning the brush is going to be white we're going to be revealing what was hidden behind this black mask so just sim come and simply paint so as you're painting just look at uh, how this is going to be affecting the image so i'm just going to simply paint onto the image just like that so don't mind if i told you paint away from uh, the image because we're going to be refining that later on And now you can see that it is now unifying or creating a uniform color within uh, the skin tones of a model. So I'm just going to be doing a rough job right here. So after you have done this and you have painted onto the skin area, the next thing that you're going to be doing is refining uh, your painting and eliminating it from the areas that you didn't want to paint in the first place. So with that, just come and press X on the keyboard meaning you'll have switched the brush back to black and that is going to be eliminating the color grading from for example the eyes and even the lips in this case so i'm just going to be painting just in those areas 
and I'll come to these other areas where I painted out of uh, the model skin and I'll just eliminate the color from those areas so you can see how simple this is if at all you don't have capture and you can use this technique for your images so I'm just going to zoom in by using ctrl or command plus on the keyboard and I'll just come and eliminate it from her nails just like that because I want her nails to have the original color and you can see this is very nice and simple to or a simple way to match or unify skin tones within uh, Photoshop. So I'm just going to be doing this. So right now you can see that the skin is now looking a little bit more on the uniform side. So like I said, you can come to the opacity and simply drop down the opacity to the one of your liking. And you can see before, after, before, after. And now the skin looks a little bit more uniform. Like I said, you can either use soft light as a blend mode for your image or you can as well use you can as well use uh, the color blend mode for your image so I'm just going to switch it back to color and you can see before after and after doing this you can just add a little bit of contrast to uh, the image and make sure you click on this clipping mask icon so that the contrast is only affecting the skin tone so you can see the overall before after before after before after you have just created a uniform skin color for this very model and if at all you have learned something new from this tutorial don't forget to like this video don't forget to subscribe this channel if at all you have been watching and you're not subscribed yet to this channel learnings from learning photography thank you for watching i'll see you in yet more tutorials and don't forget to keep practicing and also keep creating